So I got a new question about Microsoft Front Row. So the new layout option that is recently announced and is now available. So I thought I want to do a short recording on how it actually works. And since I'm in my home office by myself, it's probably going to be uh, lots of me. But anyway, I'm doing a presentation together with my Teams rooms and I have joined um, this Teams meeting on two different PCs as well. So this is the latest version. As you can see, I'm uh, capturing uh, the input from the Teams rooms during uh, NDI. So basically, this is what it would look like on your Teams rooms, walking in, into the meeting room, having that front, rows, uh, front of room screen with the time and date, and then basically the console on the table where you can see your meetings. So when you hit the join button on the Teams rooms, then in this case, I will land in the lobby since I'm on a different tenant. I'm going to admit myself and hopefully mute pretty fast. Well, there we go. So right now you can see I um, joined the Teams rooms. Um, since I'm on a PC on both devices, you will have that cropped image. Uh, on my own PC, I don't have any cropped image. I basically have the full view of um, the Teams rooms. On the other one, it does crop it because it's a personal device. So this is basically what we have seen so far and which we normally have. But you now have the option of adding um, the front row. So hit the layout button and the front row preview. And this is what it then would look like when you have the preview option, uh, the front row uh, layout. Uh, basically what it means is that you now have those two sides. So you have the raise hand. So for instance, if I raise my hand on my PC, you will see that I got my hand up. So pretty easy if you're sitting remotely uh, to make sure that everybody have seen that you want to say something. Also, if I raise my hand on my other device, then you will see that you will get them in a list. So you will make sure to see who is actually the first that raised the hand. When I've talked with people and they have asked the questions, of course, they can lower the hand by themselves. But I can actually also lower it um, from my device. So lower the hand like that and then um, you can see the options of who is actually uh, still having the hand raised. If you're doing any chat also, that is really nice. It uh, had really been an option that have been requested for quite a long time. So if possible, <clears throat> so when I type my question, as you see, it will now be visible on the front of room screen, which is really, really nice. So now you actually have the options of seeing everything's been written and not only the chat bubbles that we have previously, but now you can actually see the full screen or the fuel chat function. It's not an option to actually chat back, uh, but definitely during these uh, situations right now where we have a lot of people sitting remotely, it's really cool that um, we have that full view of the chat function. If we're going back to the gallery function, then you would not have um, the full chat function. Uh, but hopefully you would be able to see the chat bubbles then. So this is really cool. So there you go. You have a short notice of the chats. Um, in, in my opinion, it's a bit too fast it's uh, i would rather have had it for like 15 seconds or so at least uh, but this is it how it is right now so going back to front row one of the things that i really like about this is that you would now have the option of course of seeing the raised hands you have the chat but one thing that i think is a bit awkward is that you don't have 
a very good usage of your screen on list that you are sharing. Um, so let's go to my sharing option. So I'll basically just present uh, my screen uh, from my PC, which basically means that you would now have that full view of how it does look when uh, you are on uh, a single screen setup with front row. You would have up to four people in the button with a single screen. At least that is uh, what I have heard. Um, but this is how it looks like. Front row with Microsoft. And one of the other features that uh, was announced is also switching between the different camera layouts. Um, so let's go back to stop my presentation. And I will try to see if I can get my uh, there you go, my recording session up here. So right now, um, I thought it would be possible to simply hit the camera button and then change to the other camera that I've connected to my Teams rooms, but it doesn't really work like that. So, and I have no idea what how to fix this. So basically it's, the camera is still working as a mute on off, I've tried to hold the camera, nothing happens. I've tried to go into the options, still no way that I can change to another camera. Unless that I take my mouse attached to the system and then roll over my own camera feed down here in your right hand corner and click uh, the three dots. And here you can click the switch camera. So then it will switch to the other camera that I have over here. But I don't really get that because normally you would never have a mouse attached to the system. A few people might have a touchscreen connected to it. But I think it's really, um, it might be my update that haven't fully rolled out. But in this case, at least, I really don't get why you need to go over there and change the camera. Basically, yeah, new camera on off. I've tried to hold the camera. Nothing happens. I can lower all hands. Um, got the reactions. Try to hold front view. Nothing happens. So basically as I see right now, the only option of actually changing the camera is to um, switch it down here, which really doesn't make sense. Um, but at least the camera switch is, is working, so that's really nice. On the other hand, I would really have loved to be able to fix that directly from the Team Rooms console. So one thing that I would love to show, and I'll probably just kick this call down. So basically, um, how you're doing the settings, I will try to do that. Um, so let me go here. So I enter the more settings down on my console, the settings. And of course, then I need to add uh, the password. And when I have entered the password, then I'm able to go into the peripherals. And as you can see here, I have two, two ThinkSmart cameras attached to my system. Um, and I can choose which one that I would like to have my default video. But I can't really switch doing the call, which is uh, quite strange. So basically, this was a short recording and some of my thoughts of uh, how the front row is working as it is right now. Um, I think it looks really, really good. Of course, it makes a lot better sense that um, to actually do the front row when you're muting myself there. 
Uh, of course, it makes really good sense when you're sitting in front of the screens. So basically what I have been talking a lot about uh, with the people um, and partners that I work with is basically to look at how we normally sit in a meeting environment. We normally tend to sit around the table and then we have the screen in the end of the table. Of course, you need to think about the field of view. As I have described on this one, the closer you sit to the screen, the wider field of view. But what if we turned the table around and then actually looked at the screen directly instead? So I think that was one of the options that you should really think about when doing front row is fronting the screen instead of sitting around the table. So short notice, um, as you can see in the recording, this is how it works, even though that I have me, myself and I a lot of times. This is the preview uh, of front row. Another thing that I would love to see is maybe taking that top row away where it says Teams app for 11, 11, basically the name of the meeting, because I don't think that is really needed. It might be, it still does it when it's a preview, but I hope that um, that will go away. So we have a, uh, we'll have a better usage of the meeting room. So this was all for me. Thanks so much for joining and seeing what front row is all about. Camera switching can definitely be improved, but it's going to be great. And I'm really happy uh, that Microsoft invests so much time and effort in make it an even better meeting experience. Thanks for watching. I'm Lars Ballow. See you. Bye.